Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're testing out another epic relic on Alawi. We already tested out the Spirit of the Buru, and while that worked out well, I think we have another one that might work out a little bit better. Now, if you enjoy all of this daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. Also, special shout out to all my awesome members that go that extra mile supporting the channel. If you want to become a member, hit that join button down below, and let's take a look at this build. So we're running with the Star Forge Gauntlet's power if I'm Titanic, so 8 health or 8 power, plus 1 starting mana, and then there's a second part about finding level 2 champions when you invoke or manifest, that's not really going to apply to us, we just want that extra starting mana. Now to trigger that Titanic, we're running with the Jarum Fist to give us 1 power and 2 health, so that our health is going to hit that Eight health breakpoint, giving us that Titanic. We're also running with our normal Crown Guard Inheritance when I level up Rally, one of the best relics for Alawi. This is going to be a interesting build. Alawi is your main win condition, being able to play her, attack, level up, and then attack again. The fact that we can start at three mana so we can play her even faster could be very, very powerful. Although I do see a situation where we might not have enough time to build up our tentacle, but I think there's a decent chance that this actually ends up being one of the best builds for Lowie. So let's go hop in and test it out. All right, first power, what are we gonna get? Lion weight, allies that cost three or less are lurkers and have lurk. That's okay. Easy prey, summon you hostile, also not bad. Dragon's rage. All of these are fine. Wouldn't mind to get something a little bit better. Bleeding Edge, game starts. Uh, I think I'll just go for the draw too. I don't want to use more rerolls here. And this is just a good power just to make sure we're getting the cards we need in our opening hand, such as Alawi. Alright, up first we have Ash with Unstable Inventory. Alright, so we actually get rid of our Alawi since we know we're going to draw them because they're our only champion. We might actually end up needing the lookout. Against Ash, the game is probably going to go on a little bit longer than we want. Alright, we do not have the attack token. So this would be able to potentially kill them. I think let's actually go ahead and just pass. We'll just bank the mana and potentially use our Eye of Nagake Boros next round. Life is too short for fear. So we'll play this, summon our tentacle. We're probably not quite going to be able to level up. Oh, we actually might. Wow, we're literally just hitting it. Struggle, fight, live. Witness truth. All right, looks like GG. Nice. So our very first attack, second round. Pretty good. All right, that actually went uh, somewhat surprisingly well. I think let's grab the Golden Narwhal just because it's the cheapest here. Support champion Katarina is good. This would be an attack. Yeah, I think let's go here. Being able to play this for free would be decent. Alright, so we have Gangplank or Caitlyn, a healer, so we can cut a card, get a spell. I think let's go for the shop. So, Gangplank with unstable inventory. Alright, I think let's get rid of the lookout. We can hold on to the rest. We have the attack token, which is good and bad, because we'll be attacking before we have our Alawi then. So we could use a tentacle smash to get our tentacle on the board. Sure, let's do that. They might be able to play something to 
All right, they didn't have something. Sometimes you target their powder keg, they'll immediately play a spell to just destroy it. It's always good to have your tentacle on the board before you attack, if possible, because it's going to get buffed up. Otherwise, you'll attack and it will spawn down here, not attacking. Alright, so we have a nice big tentacle. We have a Lowey on the board. Alright, that's fine. We'll just be able to... We'll just be able to open attack and should be good. We'll use this to give our tentacle that overwhelm. GG. Alright, I think I'm going to go for the Jagged Taskmaster. Plunder grant one cost allies everywhere that one power, so that would apply to the Tentacle. Now, we're not necessarily great at getting Plunder effects off, but even without that, it's still a pretty good stat line for a two cost. That is quite a lot. That, this is actually amazing. Because that's just going to apply to our tentacle. That'll be great. This would also be solid. We normally aren't going to need that extra rally. I think let's go here. This could also let us get some extra damage on their nexus, which could be pretty good. Alright, Ezreal with perfected mana flow. Alright, they start with the attack token... We're trying to reroll a little bit more than normal because we want to get our champion, which we did not get. A little sad. Uh, yeah, we're fine with ending the round. Because we can, well, we could use our eye to try to get our champion. That would probably be the best, just because that is our main win condition. I right, didn't get it, sad. This is fine. Ezreal's probably going to block here. here between me nice. So we are able to buff up the damage enough that he felt required to block there. So we got him off the board. We'll just get rid of this one. We now actually are good at getting Plunder off because of uh, this spell. Pretty nice. Alright, we'll just drag him aside and GG. I guess we'll go ahead and grab this here, but none of these are too great for us. I mean, we could use this to transform one of our units into another copy of the tentacle, but that's not really necessary. Alright, Philosopher's Stone, that would be 
probably best. We could reroll for something better, but now nah, we can save the rerolls for something more important. We don't have a lot of money, so let's just go to the healer. Uh, let's... I think let's actually cut the golden nar narwhal. We don't really need it at all. One nice thing with this power is we might actually be able to play some things like the lookout here, when normally it's just too expensive, but since we're starting with one extra mana, we get to five mana much faster. All right, Fiora with power overwhelming. All right, let's get rid of some of these. Having that stun could actually be pretty nice for Fiora. All right, we can actually just attack at essentially burst speed. So they'll not be able to do anything to stop this. Nice. I'm actually here. New recruit reporting in. Starting with that one extra mana is quite nice. We also have our might. Smell that? A fight to cook it. We move against fear, against doubt. Alright, we'll just attack and probably won't even need the rally. Yep, GG. Struggle, fight, live. Nagashon. All right, challenger not really needed. Focusing crystals not bad, but normally we're never playing a spell with Halawi. Like not when she's on the board, she's just attacking and ending the game. But I guess we'll grab this just in case. Crush, reset. I think we'll grab Crush, even though our Alawi already has Overwhelm. Giving Overwhelm to our Tentacle would also be pretty nice. So yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and grab this here. Uh, Epic Champion. Uh, let's go for this Zoe with Karma that kind of defeats the purpose of starting with extra mana when you already start at 10. Uh, so yeah, let's go for Zoe with Duplicate. All right, we have a Lowey. We don't really need these anymore. The main purpose was just to give us that Overwhelm on our Tentacle, but we have a power to do that now. Sure, we could just stun one of them. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Although just having one extra mana. Yeah, we probably should have got a tentacle on the board. Probably would have been better. Because, yeah, we have enough for our Alawi, but we don't have a tentacle to attack with us, which is a problem. So, yeah, even though this was fine to give us that extra mana and to stun one of their Zoe's, would have been better to play, like, Answered Prayer there, just so we could get a tentacle on the board, because right now we're not going to rally. Because our tentacle's going to be down here. We'll rally next round, though, so it won't be that big of a deal. But could have been a little bit better there. So we're planning on just using our Tentacle Smash next round. And because our Tentacle's doing the damage, that will count towards our level up. Of course, he picked the highest cave. Witness 
Defend yourself. This is it. Land or draw. Always something to be aware of with your Alawi. You level up based on your Alawi or tentacle doing damage. Now that normally happens from you attacking, but that doesn't have to be from attacking. So even when you're blocking or things like that, you can still trigger the level up and get that rally. Alright, GG. Alright, I guess we'll give this elusive, but I don't really plan on ever playing it. Alright, champion item chest. Yeah, we can go for that Colossal Hammer, giving us even more damage. Sejuani, Tom Kench. Uh, hmm. So I normally like to go for a Sejuani, however, Sejuani actually has some Frostbites, so that could slow us down. I think Tom Kench with Unstable will be easier. Alright, let's get rid of these two. We'll probably just play the Answered Prayer. We just need to have the tentacle spawned so that our Lowie can attack with it. We move against fear, against doubt. How? Fetch yourself. Witness truth. This is probably going to be game. Naga Kaporos moves within me! Naga Shun! Alright. GG. I think this is definitely becoming her best build. Reckoner's Mark is kind of funny on this. Sure. Alright, so we can try a reroll here. Hmm, that's not really that great. We'll buy one copy of this just for the item. Don't really care about the rest, like we don't invoke doesn't really matter to us. Encroaching mist, spells chest. I guess we'll grab this just because we're probably gonna have the extra money. But we're not really having units die in most situations. Still have yet to get this on a champion that actually can utilize it. Oh well. Uh, let's go for this Bell's Chest. So, Lee Sin with Perfected Mana Flow. Alright, we can get rid of both of these. The biggest goal is just summoning a tentacle this round. Yeah, we'll just skip. So we're gonna get our tentacle next round. We'll play our Alawi. Now, they do have some stuns and recalls. We move against fear, against doubt. And they have mana to stun us, so this could be annoying. Often they try to stun the person attacking Lee Sin, but yeah, not necessarily too confident in this attack. Oh, nice, they mustn't have it. Alright, this should be GG then.
All right, gain two more copies of our champion. That's good. That's really the way I look at this, is just add two copies of a card. That's the most important part here. The tough, yeah, that's fine, but the extra copies is actually more important. This is actually pretty good because our Alawi is going to be Titanic. So we can play this for one mana, but it's going to give us two cost reduction for our Alawi. So that's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab this. Right, what do we want to cut? Could cut the Lookout. Yes, that is really the one we're the least likely to play. All right, Victor with level up. All right, this is a fine looking opening hand. Man, if we had a power like sorcery, we could push so much damage here. I have my order. You are the tool. I am the weapon. Last is a feeble mind. Alright, so we can actually stun this here because we have the attack token. So we're still gonna be able to summon our tentacle. Don't get in my way. Uh, that's not good. That's actually really bad. Oh, we needed to attack to get our tentacle, but... Them having Lucian with that double attack. And they all have extra stats. And they are about to attack, and if we played our Alawi, they could just immediately kill it with Rost. Alright, I think we need to go here and kill their Lucian before they attack. This will kill our Tentacle, but I think that's more important. Because their Rost could kill us regardless. Alright, this is going to hurt, but this is fine. We're going to play this here, get our tentacle going. And then next round we'll play and attack with Balawi. We move against fear, against doubt. <laughs> All right, so this has 11 with that tough, so nothing is strong enough to kill this. So we should be able to attack, both survive, level up, rally, and end the game. And yeah, one thing you can do is put your tentacle first so that if it causes you to level up, your Alawi gets one extra uh, power from leveling up. So you can put Alawi last. I'm just always used to putting her first because of uh, Shade Leaf. Alright, so they'll probably both die, but that should be game. Oh, nice. GG. Alright, that was actually a boss fight, so we're gonna heal back to full. Great. I guess we'll get Red Alley Banner, but again, we really don't expect them to die. Uh, Titanic Wake, this would be great, because our Lowry is obviously Titanic. Alright, let's go for that shock. So Draven with Unyielding Determination. Alright, they have the attack token. I think we can get rid of both of these. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. 
Alright, so these will definitely die. Not a big deal, though. Alright, we can just bank the mana. Life has so much to offer. Meet me. Alright, with that unyielding, we'll have to see how we do. But we'll definitely level up here at least. And this should be game with our rally attack. We didn't get our rally off? Oh. Oh, right. The stupid unyielding, it like, it negates your damage. So even though we technically did like 30 damage to the Nexus, it didn't count. Which is really annoying. Because <laughs> that means they're going to be able to attack here and do a lot of damage. Although Alawi is really that massive, so shouldn't be too bad. Struggle, fight, live. Nagasho. Let's boogie. Hold, fight. <sighs> Don't really want the tentacle to die here. Don't think, uh, yeah, don't think they'll be able to buff him up enough to kill us, but it's probably going to be a bit close. Oh, they're not even bothering. Nice. I do hate that unyielding interaction. Oh, well. GG. Right, I guess we'll grab this with Farsight. Not that it really matters. Like, it'll be nice to have, but it's not that important. Uh, sure, we can grab a sapling, especially because of the Yips genius. It'll be... Even stronger. We don't really need another champion. Also, we don't have money for this at the moment, so that's also good. This would be great if we had something like sorcery, so we normally would have the mana to play this. I think a one cost Hextep Fabricator, I think, I think this is pretty good. Alright. We have Aurelia with Power Overwhelming. Alright, we can get rid of these three. Huh, not amazing. Because we want to be able to summon our... Well, spawn. I think we'll play this, even though it's not going to strike anything, just to get our tentacle on the board. Stand and be tested. The order rewards its faithful. All right, GG. Naga Kaporos moves within me. Naga 
Alright, Farsight, pretty good. Azir with level up. Alright, we don't need that many of those. I guess we can hold on to this. Maybe we'll play it this round. Yeah, I think we might just want to... Well... We'll give them the option of playing something. I wouldn't mind them playing Azir and us killing him. I'm trying to get him lower, if at all possible. Oh. These are titanic. At least that one is. That's, that's pretty funny. The great thing is, even if they attack, we can still rally, because we can just block with our units. Alright, this is going to be pretty easy. Well, should be. Alright, GG. Getting this with Augment, not bad. Alright, final boss. Aurelian Soul with level up. I think we can get rid of these two in the middle. Alright, we'll be able to play a bunch of these, not too bad. And we can also play this to get our tentacle on the board. Alright, good amount of early damage. Nice, we already have our tentacle growing and attacking. Alright, I'm glad they didn't uh, open attack. Alright, so he has to block here, otherwise he'd get a Nexus Strike off and really mess us up. Go here, and here. This should rally us, and then we'll likely attack and just end the game. They're out of mana, there shouldn't be anything they can do. Uh, yeah, this looks fine. GG. Alright, that actually worked out even better than I was anticipating. I thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult to level up our Alawi without having a couple rounds to build up our tentacle. But as you saw, even in the very first round, as long as we have a tentacle with 2-2 two, two as far as stats, which is pretty easy to do in the first round, even if we can't attack, then when you attack Malawi, you can still level her up. 
get that rally, even if it's just your second round. So I think this is actually going to be the new best build. I think Crown Guard, always very important. Starforge, getting that extra mana is actually a pretty big deal for a Lowie where you just want to be able to get her on the board as fast as possible. So this really ramps up your game plan by potentially a round, maybe even two. And then I think the Fist is going to be a better stat relic than the Luminous Orb. You do actually want that one extra damage. Again, like you saw in that very first attack, we only got the Rally and a level up by one power. Like we exactly hit the amount of power we needed to be able to level up. So without the power from the Fist, if we'd used the Orb instead, we wouldn't have been able to Rally with our first attack and then end the game. Kind of funny that this Epic Relic is actually going to be better for Lowie than the one that was kind of made for her, the Spirit of the Buru. Now, Spirit of the Buru is still perfectly fine, but I do think this one is actually better. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. Special shout out again to all my awesome members going that extra mile supporting the channel. Really does mean the world to me. If you want to become a member, hit that join button down below. And I hope you all have a great day.